Okay, so today we got some Jurassic World Dominion stuff. Um, prior to getting this stuff, the only Dominion stuff I really had was the Funko Pop. So, I was glad to finally pick up some more Dominion stuff. I actually picked this up at Meijer. Um, all the stuff in this video I picked up at Meijer, actually. So, let's just get right into it. So, when we went in, um, I'd planned on getting... Um, I wanted to get maybe some dinosaur figures, and I wanted to get um, this... Um, a composition notebook because I'm I think I'm gonna do like a dinosaur journal and it might be just exclusively theropods I'm not for sure but I'm definitely there's definitely gonna be some theropods in there and maybe some other species but I definitely know I want to do some theropods um, but then I saw these and I went in uh, Michaels as well to try to see if I could find any cool Safari limited figures that Michaels does not have as many Safari limited figures as they used to have. They used to have a ton, but now they don't have nearly as many. So I didn't end up getting any from there. Um, and then we went in here, and I went mainly to find um, a composition book to make my journal. Uh, and then I saw these in minis, and I was like, oh, that's a must get. So I ended up getting one, two of them at first. I picked up, I picked out one myself, and then I asked my sister to grab one, and she grabbed one, so I got two. Uh, now, luckily, did get separate because I was like, if I pick two, I'll probably somehow. Out there was eight different possibilities, and I was like, I'll somehow probably get the same exact ones if I pick them both. So I asked my sister to pick the other one. Uh, so I grabbed one, and then I went and they had um, Fallen Kingdom on sale for five dollars. I know it says nine ninety nine, but they had it for only five dollars. So um, I picked it up as well. Um, it's the only DVD I didn't have. I've got. Um, I have a set of the first three, and then I bought um, the first Jurassic World, and Dominion's obviously not out on DVD yet, but I'll probably get it whenever it does finally come on DVD. Um, Fallen Kingdom was probably my least favorite of the movies, though, so, but I mean, $5, you're not going to find a DVD much cheaper than $5, especially not one as good as the Jurassic series, so it was a must-get for me, um, so, then, right before we left, I went back um, and looked. Because I've been wanting a, one of the Giganotosaurus figures because the Giganotosaurus was I knew was going to be my favorite movie or my favorite dinosaur going into the movie, and it ended up being an awesome dinosaur. Should have beat the T Rex, but you know they had to let Rexy win. I know how it is, uh, but whenever I saw this Giganotosaurus figure for this size, because that's not that big of a figure, and that's what I like. I usually like the smaller figures. I'm a sucker for mini figures. Uh, so whenever I saw one that wasn't that big, I was like, oh, that's perfect. I mean, this figure fits in your hand super easy. It's a nice size. Because the only Giganotosaurus figure I've seen in stores prior to this one is that mega huge one. And that one was just way too big for what I was wanting. Uh, I was wanting like one of the like, battle damage ones at first because I thought that that would have been a good one. Uh, but they didn't have those. They only had the super huge one at like Target and Walmart. So then whenever I saw this one, and I was like, oh, that's the perfect size. So it was a must-get. And it was only like $5. One thing that was kind of weird about this one, though, is this little set that this one, Jigga comes in has th two other figures. And it's the Blue the Velociraptor and the Therizinosaurus, which was kind of weird to me. Because honestly, I'm shocked they didn't just do T-Rex instead of Velociraptor. Because, you know, these three were about the same size in the movie, other than the Velociraptor and the Rex was. But I guess they just decided not to do that for some reason. So... Um, we'll get him out of the box first because he's not really surprised. And obviously, I did open those first because I wanted to see what they looked like. Um, so we'll just get the Jigga out real quick. Okay, uh, here he is in all of his glory. Um, We have successfully got the Jigga out of the plastic. Okay, he stands pretty well. Uh, one thing, obviously, that is kind of a benefit with, like, the Jurassic World figures compared to the Safari Limited figures is, like, the articulation. But, you know, there's benefits to either way, obviously, because, you know, the articulated pieces can obviously break a lot easier. But I do like a little articulation because, obviously, you know, you can do some different poses and stuff. I kind of wish the jaw would open. That's the only gripe I can really have about this figure. I mean, for five dollars, it's a really good figure, uh, and I personally really like it. I mean, I'm and also I'm very surprised they didn't just do Rex and 
it would make more sense just to have done the Jiga and the Rex than to do Jiga, Therizinosaurus, and Blue. Uh, I still don't understand why they did that, but I was definitely very glad to get that figure. Um, and then let's just get right into the minis. So, when I first went in, I got two of the minis, the one that I picked out myself and the one that my sister picked out. So, we'll just go... We'll do the one I picked out first. So, there were, here's the eight different ones you could have got. So, there's... Uh, the so, they come in sets. You can either get one big one or one, like, medium-sized one and one smaller one. So, there, you could get a single T-Rex, a single Giganotosaurus, um, a Stegosaurus, and then a Trosraptor, a Quetzal, and a Gallimimus, a Baryonyx, and an Iguanodon, which are two that are, like, not medium-sized, but, like, somewhere in between the medium and small-sized, but they're both about the same size. Um, the Therizinosaur and the Lystrosaurus, the Yangchuanosaurus in blue, and... It's kind of hard to see, but it's a Pteranodon and a Triceratops. So, the one that I picked, um, we'll just pull it out and so I can show you all. It was actually a pretty good one, in my opinion. It was the Yangchuanosaurus in blue. Um, we'll pop them out before I talk about the two figures. Okay, we got little blue out. we got the yang chuanosaurus out okay here are our two first dinosaurs these were the two from the pack i picked um obviously blue being you know the main dinosaur well one of the main dinosaurs owens velociraptor um there was like a group of four of them at first in that first dress world movie but this was the one that obviously owen had the biggest connection with and is the one that's in this movie the yang chuanosaurus there is a bigger version of this figure um uh, and I don't believe Yang Chuanosaurus appears in the movie, or if it did, I don't remember it. This one actually does have the jaw open feature, which is awesome. I mean, out of all the features you could ha want to have articulated on a dinosaur, I think that's obviously the one. Their feet are very big, but like rubbery, so it makes sense. I do like that figure a lot. It's honestly pretty highly detailed for such a small figure. You know, you got the little skin bumps. Uh, the crest is a different color. Honestly, a nice little figure. Uh, definitely like it. You know, Yang Chuanosaurus is not the most popular dinosaur, so I'm glad that the Jurassic series branched out uh, to it. Because it's, you know, an allosaurid relative. Uh, I think it's a Metricanthosaur. It, Sinraptor, and Metricanthosaurus itself are all closely related. So, really cool dinosaur. Glad. I think that might actually be my first Metricant or my first Yang Chuanosaurus. I have a Sinraptor figure. Um, and then we'll get into the one my sister picked out. Um... Obviously, due to the fact that I didn't pick it out myself, I got a different one. Uh, so, she got the Quetzal one, which was one that I was glad to get because I'd actually considered buying the bigger Quetzal, the individual one. Um, okay, so we have removed the two. Uh, so, it was the Gallimimus, and I'm actually really glad to get this little Gallimimus. I know it's obviously just a little figure, but... Um, really glad to have it because I don't have a Gallimimus figure. Like, actually, like one that I'm 100% Gallimimus. Like, obviously, I've got some of those little cheap China brand figures that look like Gallimimus. But, like, I don't have, like, a Safari Limited or even a Jurassic World brand or, like, you know, one of those type of brand figures. Obviously, uh, Collectives made a pretty good one recently. And I don't even have Dinochirus yet. So, this is my first uh, theropod in that family that I finally have a figure of. And then we have Quetzal, which is one of my favorite pterosaurs. Um... Uh, Probably the only pterosaur that I like more than it is the Hatsigopteryx. Um, this does have a little articulation. Its wings can move. Uh, so, nice little figure. Out of the two mystery, I think I won. Let's just be honest. Um, and Chuanosaurus looks pretty stinking cool. And Blue, obviously, beats the Gallimimus. So, uh, I had a ton of fun opening these. Uh, well, I guess you all didn't really see me open them, but I had a ton of fun getting these. Uh, and like I said also I got that Fallen Kingdom DVD for like $5 and then I got my journal which will I might have a video on that that'll be really cool especially once I finish it um, and one thing about this Jiga that is really cool you can definitely see like some like cr crocodile like stuff the spines and stuff in the color I would assume that you know the DNA that they put in was probably crocodilian uh, 
And I'll just say there's a chance that some more of these mini figures do appear on the channel. Um, I might, and by might, I mean they definitely will. They'll probably be the next video you see after this on the channel. Uh, but all in all, I had a ton of fun making this video, and I had a ton of ton, ton of fun getting these figures. So thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned, and I guess we're out for now. But probably the next video you'll see on this channel is probably getting recorded right after this video gets made. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'm out now.